Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Aveline Dupre is in Chichen Itza and she's got wind of her mother. She might have been around here, perhaps not knowing that uh, Aveline did not know about her. Also, we've got this Eredito situation going on. Um, whereby we need to find these Citizen E things. Which is going to... Oh, that's lovely. Which is going to reveal some items. We, we came across one in the last episode, but in all honesty, I couldn't find it. So we're going to have another look for that soon. But we're on the search for this Lost Prophecy disc. And what that will reveal is to be determined. So... I've had a little break in between th this episode and the last one, playing The Last of Us, and yes, I remember lots of it, but when I take a little break, certain things I forget. So, do bear with me. I'm a focus on one thing kind of guy, and if I don't, then you know about it. So, there also is word that that um, someone who sounds like Aveline's mother is has a dwelling on the other side of the island and that's where we're heading at the moment I think this is fun Wow, this looks... Yes, this is looking a bit... The ones that came before, isn't it? Goodness me. Wow. One that came before technology up in here. amazing they've just they've just nailed this kind of pre-civilization stuff because it it looks very futuristic but it also looks very old and very kind of other otherworldly so we've got some kind of maze in the oh I see looks like we can Can move that around. I don't know if we're meant to. I don't know if we're meant to. Maybe we've got some kind of puzzle game from on high here where we can move move it like a uh, like a labyrinth. Yes we can. Okay, this looks relatively straightforward. I'm getting, getting Zelda vibes playing this. Breath of the Wild. They were slightly more complex. Nailed that. Nailed that bit. Nailed that bit too. Slip in my slot. You slut. Wow, that's one of the pieces. So we hear, yes, coming back to me now. There's plenty of these pieces kicking around. Um, and Aveline, in her notes, in her 
diary books. She talks of this. She talks of this, does she not? Let's remind ourselves. Xi'an's diary pages. Let's start from the end and work back. Page 30. At last, de Ferrer tires of my excuses. He's banished me from my work and from the community. I will seek some hiding place. As long as de Ferrer controls the port, there is no chance of escape. These people see all, know all. Okay, I don't remember that one. I believe I've discovered the artifact they seek. To hold it... To hold it is to sense its power. It's a piece of a disc, one part of a puzzle requiring the companionship of two or more others. One I am sure I know already, the other I sense I've seen it before, but where? The answer eludes me. It does not matter now. I have hidden the shard, they will not find it. The whole will never be assembled. I realise now I was foolish to trust the madame. She is not who she says she is. Her knowledge sprang not from the gossip of traders' wives, but from some direct source. She is not of the Brotherhood, but she is something else equally sinister. I fear what harm may come to my daughter, to what lengths and to what purposes she may have been manipulated. So at this point, she's on to the fact that she might have been duped coming here. She's been banished from the community, but with no hope of getting off on the island. Now, whether this is the half she had or the half she didn't, I don't know. But we have access to it now. <laughs> How wonderfully useful you are. You remove those who would supersede me in rank. You find pieces of the prophecy disc, saving me the effort. <laughs> if you weren't my enemy, I would take you for my friend. Our aims must not be so different for all the help you give me. Right. Okay, we're struggling here. Got to try that again. I'm a bit rusty. Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work either. Oh dear. antagonist and now he's dead and we have two minutes to get out of here no time to ponder escape through the mines cave is becoming unstable escape the area so he was tracking us all along and he was so happy that we were killing his uh, superiors so that he could gain power in certain places and also finding this artifact, which he knew about. He knew full well about. So the Templars. Come on. Oh, shit. Looks like we've... This is interesting. This is interesting. Oh, well. Got, up, got through that with luck rather than judgment. No, not that way. Two minutes still. How are we doing? One minute left and change. This is nice though. We'll indie our way across. Is 
his mum. Aveline, Maman? It can't be. I left you in Madeleine's protection for your own safety. You and my heart. What cruel destiny brings you now? And carrying the blade of the enemy? Don't tell me. I thought you were dead. Please understand. They would have killed me. Taken my heart. I never wanted to leave you. Is that it? Has Agate sent you here to kill me? Please tell me you do not hate me so much. I would not have left. Kill you? No, I, I, I came here on my own. Aveline, the disc can never fall into Agate's hands. If it did, everything I've been working to find and protect since leaving Nouvelle Orléans would be destroyed. How do you know him? And why are you so afraid? Long ago. No. I'm sorry, Evelyn. I hope you can forgive me someday. Mama! She was about to tell us a story there. Solve the puzzles in two minutes. Let's let's read this about Jian. Wow, so she was about to tell us a story and then she decided not to. And we were slightly suspicious of Agate, weren't we? Ever so slightly. She was born in the Atlantic coast of Africa in the 20s, 1720s. Official records unavailable. She was taken into slavery as a child and transported to San Domingue, Haiti. In 1744, Jean was per purchased by Philip Oliver de Grand Pre, who took her to New Orleans. She became his place and was granted her freedom of on bearing him a daughter in 47. She was 27 at the time. Well, thereabouts. Jeanne vanished from New Orleans in 57, leaving her daughter behind. Have we got any more updates here? So, we cannot let the, the disc get into her hands. And it's interesting. Uh, in Assassin's Creed 3, Juno was talking of discs that Minerva had left for Desmond that she threw, that she destroyed or threw away. I wonder if these are those discs. Well, this is one of those discs that contains something, information instructions home at last and tides turn Spanish rulers ease restrictions on the emancipation of slaves and encourage free trade okay so it seems to be calming down a little bit in New Orleans I... Gerald, you look as though you've seen a ghost. I left Chichen Itza the moment it was secure. Then you were... Uh, successful. De Ferrer will no longer trouble us. But there is more to this story. Always. I have much to tell you as well. The Spanish are... Sympathetic to our aims now. New laws may ease your efforts to help the slaves. Could it be that for the first time, home holds more comfort than conflict? With you back, it feels like home again. I'm afraid I must now spoil your homecoming with a business. There has been strange activity. Men in Spanish uniforms raising havoc in the bayou. Still? I thought you said Spanish interests are now aligned with ours. That's what makes it so... strange. Are they secretly working for... That's what we need to find out. I have one need. An informant has seen a man bribing soldiers in town. For who? I'll investigate. Avin, aren't you forgetting something? Please, Gerald. Now is not the time. I, um... Uh, well, I merely meant to, to give you... Oh, 
Uh, thank you. <sighs> it's been too long. Okay, well, uh, in, on one hand, the Spanish are relaxing their oppressive grip, and perhaps that's to do with de, de Ferrer being killed. But on the other hand, amongst the Spanish, there are perhaps some Templar goings on that need to be investigated. We were chucked out of Chichen Itza there, and I wanted to go back and try and find the E, Citizen E thing. So, um,. Can we do that? I can't can't do it here. What's this again? Ah, we can send people places. Let's have a look at this. Um, what have we got here? Dock ship Jupiter is a galleon. Buy goods. Let's buy some sugar. By the maximum. And then let's send ship to Havana for a profit of four thousand. Oh, yes. Buy the ship. Let's buy. Let's let's save up for for this one. Eight thousand. We'll save up for that one. Okay. What else do we have here? We had a way of changing, didn't we? But I'm going to stick with the slave persona because I want to try and get back to Chichen Itza and I think you do that by going to the docks. So let's have a little look at that. But we might be chucked into another mission by doing this. I, I don't want to miss that Citizen E because I can't remember um, which of you commented that it's quite important to the ending that we complete those before. So I really want to do that because this the erudito is properly turning me on with with law, tickling my pickle with that law. Okay. How in the devil do we do we? Do? So that's a dressing chamber. That's a canoe. We don't want a canoe. What's that? The headquarters, of course. I mean, let's head there and see if we can see anyone that can help us. I'm hoping that's this over here. I, I really want to be able to get back to Chichen Itza. I really want to experience that Citizen E little mission. Because it would please me. You do want to please me, don't you, game? Can you speak to someone? Is it there? I wish for safe passage to Mexico. Immediately, good man. Don't delay. You there. I say, who will give me safe passage? None of you? None of you blaggards? 
Oh, maybe we'll come across it later. Maybe it, we're, we're mid-mission, and that is not a possibility. The more I think about it, the more, more likely I think that to be. Okay. So we're locating the recruiter. Finding out more about these possible Spanish Templar gentlemen. So at the moment I am pretty low key in terms of notoriety, so I can wander around like nothing is going on. Now, um, where is this recruit? Is, is he far? Looks like he's there, so we've got a viewpoint to sink as well. And that will help us if we get some elevation, as it always does being a, an assassin. Get up top, see what you can see, like an eagle. Also got a GM page here, which is definitely, we definitely, definitely going to get all of those. Knowing which one it is, though, that's the problem. No. No. Not that one. Remember that one. No. So I think it's this one. Mistress L says, Auction is next week. It is wrong to think so, but I wish it was sooner. My hope is I am bought and sent to a far place. I do not care about my future, only I must go away from this place. And the eyes of the Brotherhood. Hmm. So I, I think that is... So has she known the Brotherhood for since she was in Africa? I'm trying to think, or since she was captured as, as a slave, I think that's what she, what it's saying there. So what we need to do then is what it's nice to get these tidbits as we go along, though. What I'm suggesting half-heartedly is that we wait and, and read them all at once, so then at least we know which ones we've got and haven't got. Or I should be just noting it down so we remember. I'm going to get some elevation and go up over to here. Mm. <laughs> um, is that not it? Oh no, it's down here. There we go. It's good to be back in New Orleans, but I do regret being thrown out of Chichen Itza. Okay. We'll look at... That could be him, couldn't it?
they thought the war would end there. But it didn't. You don't say. You don't say. <laughs> What's he doing? He's out of blending with a group of system workers, we will. But quite, quite enjoying being on these rooftops though. And what are you going to reveal, recruiter? So is he the recruiter for for more people to find sites? That's what I'd like to understand. <laughs> uh, the slave persona is probably the best. Because you get complete lack of notoriety and you can move move about. Perhaps you don't have as good a combat skills. Oh, just hide behind this stack. Right, that is the graveyard where we met Agate, I believe. Does that mean he's meeting Agate? Because that was his safe haven, his only safe haven. So, our spidey senses have gone way up with regard to Agate and who he is. No, he's walked away from the graveyard. I thought it might have something to do with him, but it, it does not. As you can see, my employer is prepared to be very generous. So it seems. Then you will join our cause? See. Si. Stop her! Oh, why did you present yourself, Avaline? That seems odd. Okay, well he has gone ahead. He's just taking a little breather there. Okay, I wonder if we can throw the whip. I wonder if that would be a good way to catch him. He's fast as hell. I think it might... Yeah, he's going into the bayou. Or into this fort, at least. Okay. Red zones of the minimap are restricted, but we still need to get in here, don't we? Let's find a way. Can, as, as a lady, can we get in? I don't think so. Tear down posters to lower the slave persona. Do we need to do that? No, we just need to do that. Right, that... It's going to be useful if we can jump up over here. So we'll have a look around. I'd like to get through there, but we'll go up on the outside. <laughs> yes, yeah, so our main antagonist is is gone. He was the the main guy. He was the who he, he was who we were after, but. It, it suggests to me that he is merely a drop in the ocean. Huh. 
de Ferrer. He died cheaply, in my opinion. Okay. Now, it just, just occurred to me that maybe we don't actually need to be in here because the... Um, the memory starts over here, so... Maybe we'll just go back. Hells yes. Well, we got it. I reckon this will be a way of getting in. Start memory. End the recruiter's dishonest dealings. Locate the recruiter and remain undetected. Now we've got to go in. That's not so helpful game. Thank you. Not so helpful at all. What does that mean, that thing? What does that thing mean on the map? star. Insight. Oh, I see. You can incite a, a riot. I see. Let's see how that works. Against our masters. Listen. They won't know what is. Lots of, lots of ways to incite. Teach our masters a lesson. They won't know what to hit them. Come on, then, boys. What we are made of. We'll get these louts. How do you trigger it? We'll get these louts. We'll get the line. Let's Must show them what we are begun. made of. Get those bastards. Now for a taste of body. Okay. That is a recruiter, right? Right, I'll forget the insiders, I'll just get straight to it. Do I have a weapon? Do I have a gun? No. What we could use is the poison arrows. That might be useful. Action. Okay, now you remain undetected after the killing the recruiter. So loot the recruiter's belongings, I see. Escape the zone and become anonymous. Um, I'm going to take it back to the rooftops. Oh, 
Oh, that's not how you play it. Silly girl. Seems we've got away with it, though. Right, let's head along here. Good. Escaped. Signor, perhaps you underestimate the vast, winding expanse of the bayou. I will repeat. I need enough men to control all of it. Recruit the entire Spanish army if you must. Yours in absolute discretion. Vasquez. Vasquez? De Ferrer mentioned him in Chichen Itza. Is he the company man? I must warn Agate and the smugglers. So the company man obviously means Templars, but the fact that she wants to warn Agate after what's going on is is strange. Now, yes, we've got to travel to the bayou, but have we opened up ways to get across? What's this? Ship crew? Hmm. Memory star. Oh, God. Business rival. Plenty of things to do. Where are we now? We're up here. Let's go and take some things off the list. Don't know what this business rival thing affords. Uh, so I think it might be opening up um, shops to buy. Oops. Ted Ember's lower slaves persona. Quite low at the moment. Mademoiselle Aveline, the overstuffed textile trade bursts with corruption. How unseemly. And the enemy is to blame? Yes. A single textiler, Monsieur Chaperon, keeps prices tightly knotted. I'll sew this up as quickly as possible. There's a da very dangerous textiler that's charging a bit more than he should do. And for this, he deserves to die. How dare he try to extract a profit greater than that of subsistence. and kill the business rival. We've only got two minutes. One of these streets. We are struggling to find him. Oh, we got left a minute thirty seven. There he is. Is that right? Yes. What have we got? Smoke bombs. Oops. Excuse me. Loot the body. Okay, he is dead. I will. Now, money, shop owned by the business rival, are now available for renovation. And I think we do that in at home. I'm not sure. But let's go and see this Gian note. I think next time I'm going to write down everything, all the notes we have, so we can read them one by one. Might need to do a little bit of searching now. Diary page of Tales, why would she give me a number game? Right. Might be seven? I think this is it. I have to confess somewhere, so I confess here. When 
I think it's Agate left, I took something from him, something a brotherhood needs, something it would kill for. I do not know why it is important, but I fear that Agate and someone, and someone will know it was me, but it's too late for them. Even if they kill me, they will not find it. Maybe we have seen that one before. This is it. The madam is in contact with a great many traders' wives who have a great many things to say about the shape of hats and price of cotton. I strain to hear news of the Brotherhood, or even to read it between the lines, but thus far I have not been rewarded with any information that can confirm or deny me my continued safety here. Gosh, she's just absolutely caught between all sorts. Templars, assassins, she doesn't know where to turn. Poor lady, let's open this up. Can we do that? Or is it locked to us? Why is it locked? No. We'll pay. We'll rebuild it. I'm quite happy in the slave persona at this moment in time. She seems to do everything I'd like her to. Right, what have we got here? So we can buy those shops, surely. Let's see if we can go and do that. Charm specific gentlemen in order to acquire special brooches. Well, well, well. What does that afford? No, this is just a place to shop. Well, that, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, we've equipped that already. Okay. Well, let's head on down to this other business rival over here. See these guys off, and then next time we're back at the, the headquarters, we'll see what we can hmm. do. Mademoiselle Aveline, I have an important job for you. Shoot! You might not imagine that gunsmiths are wealthy, but with the number of guns I go through, you might be surprised. I stand corrected. Then it will come as no surprise to you that a wealthy gunsmith, Monsieur de Chevalier. Hides in his man's controlling the prices of weapons across New Orleans. I'll find him and arrange for a permanent discount. <laughs> I find it bizarre that we're doing this. So, locate the... Kill the targets. There were was, was things to do there, but I didn't see them. One of them was remain undetected. Which we'll try. I think we'll just grab this poster while we're here and climb this building. Coming over here like now. What do you think you're doing? Okay, um hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Come on, buttons. Didn't need it in the end. I teach you to respect it. Damn, got detected. Didn't sync that very well. Shops owned by business rivals now available for renovation. Uh, where though? We'll find that out very shortly. But we've got 
Somewhere to be at the harbour, so let's go there. Well, that's it for this episode, but thank you very much for watching and thank you to my patrons who support this channel. And did you know, being a patron, you get to have a chance to vote for what game I play next. Also, every episode is on Patreon, ad-free, and well before it airs on YouTube. So if you want to watch the next episode now, before it airs on YouTube, head over to my Patreon. And if you don't fancy that, why not try another of my Let's Plays, featured on the screen now. <laughs>